Getting rid of harvester ants requires a multifaceted approach that includes understanding their behavior, using various control methods, and implementing preventive measures to ensure they do not return. Harvester ants are known for their distinctive mounds and their ability to gather seeds and other food items, which they store in their nests. They can be problematic in gardens, lawns, and even inside homes if left unchecked. Before taking steps to eliminate harvester ants, it is important to understand their behavior and biology. Harvester ants belong to the genus Pogonomermex and are known for their large, conspicuous mounds, which can reach up to two feet in diameter. These ants are primarily seed eaters, although they also consume insects and other small invertebrates. Harvester ants are beneficial in some ecosystems because they aerate the soil and disperse seeds, but they can become pests when they invade human habitats. To effectively control harvester ants, you first need to identify their presence. Look for large, bare soil areas with a central hole, well-defined trails as they forage for food, and piles of seeds or seed husks near their nests or foraging areas. One of the first steps in getting rid of harvester ants is to remove their nests manually and modify their habitat to make it less attractive to them. If the infestation is localized, you can dig out the nests by using a shovel to excavate the ant mound, ensuring you reach the queen and most of the colony. Dispose of the ants and the nest material far from your property. Another method is to flood the nest with water, which can be effective in drowning the ants and making the nest uninhabitable. For better results, use soapy water, which helps break down the ants' exoskeletons and suffocates them. Harvester ants are attracted to seeds and other food particles, so keeping your garden and lawn free from debris, fallen seeds, and food scraps will reduce their food supply. When physical removal and habitat modification are insufficient, chemical control methods can be employed. Applying insecticide sprays directly to the ant mounds and trails can be effective. Look for products that contain active ingredients like permethrin, bifenthrin, or carbaryl, and follow the manufacturer's instructions for application and safety precautions. Granular insecticides can also be spread around the ant mounds and foraging areas. These products are carried back to the nest by the worker ants, where they can kill the queen and other colony members. Ant baits are another effective and targeted approach. Place bait stations near ant trails and mounds, and the worker ants will carry the bait back to the colony, where it will be consumed by the queen and other ants. Baits containing hydromethylmin, fipronil, or boric acid are particularly effective against harvester ants. Biological control involves using natural predators or pathogens to reduce harvester ant populations. Some insects, such as certain beetles and parasitoid wasps, prey on harvester ants. Introducing these predators to your garden can help control ant populations naturally. Beneficial nematodes are microscopic worms that can be applied to the soil. They infect and kill ants and other soil-dwelling pests, and are safe for plants, pets, and humans. For those who prefer eco-friendly and non-toxic methods, there are several options available. Diatomaceous earth, a fine powder made from fossilized algae, works by dehydrating and killing the ants. It is safe for humans and pets but should be kept dry to remain effective. Certain essential oils, such as peppermint, tea tree, and citrus oils, have ant repellent properties. Mixing a few drops of these oils with water and spraying the solution around ant entry points and trails can be effective. A solution of vinegar and water can also be sprayed directly on ants and their trails, as vinegar disrupts their scent trails and acts as a repellent. Once you have eliminated the current infestation, it is crucial to implement long-term preventive measures to keep harvester ants from returning. Regularly inspect your property for signs of ant activity and address any new mounds or trails immediately. Maintaining a clean and tidy garden or lawn, free from debris and food sources, will make your property less attractive to harvester ants. Sealing cracks and crevices in your home's foundation and walls can prevent ants from entering your house. Additionally, trimming vegetation and removing any wood piles or other potential nesting sites will help deter harvester ants from establishing new colonies. By combining these methods, 
you can effectively control and prevent harvester ant infestations, ensuring a pest-free environment in your garden, lawn, and home. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.